Hi everyone and welcome to this J-Craft demo. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the woodware bubble bauble stamps and the little matching die. Um, absolutely great thing that Jane Gill has designed here and I just really love them. Um, so we've got, there's a few different stamps um, in this. So we've got bubble bauble and bow, um, mini baubles, Bubble bauble and ribbon, bubble bauble and pine pine branch. Um, there's also a little extra pine branch on its own with some little berries, and then you've got the the um, bubble top little stamps, which I'll show you how to use. Um, really fun things to do. Now this is the die that cuts out all the little circles here and we'll show you what to do with those as we go along and um, the stamps are great value at $13 and the little die at $9 um, so let's get started first I'll show you just a little um, little gift card that I've done here and it's just a little three by four um, card I've kept it quite quite plain um, you can add more things to it if you wanted to so what I've done here, um, I've just cut some mirror card out as a mat that will get stuck down on there with my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue. Now a few of you might have seen me demo these stamps before, um, but we are doing a couple of different ones today a couple of uh, different finishes on them so still worth watching um, then I just stamped with some Versamark and some gold embossing powder onto some cardstock and I'm gonna just roughly fussy cut around the edges doesn't need to be too neat because your main focal is the little bubble bauble that's pretty much it so then I'm just going to glue this onto the card like that stick it down towards the bottom because what I've also done here um, I've die cut a bow to go on the top and this is a sweet poppy uh, pine sprig bow and that comes in at seven dollars so we might just go ahead and stick that you could put this onto foam tape if you wanted to i've just kept this reasonably flat and quite simple and then we're going to use some of the um the bubble top stamps so in these, you're not just limited to Christmas. There are holly berries and leaves and snowflakes and things, but there are also little tiny flowers, little stars and things like that. Um, oak leaves, all types of different leaves and things on there. So you're really not just limited to Christmas with this one. Um, I've just chosen one little one randomly. And I'm using the Fern Green um, Wendy Vacuumake Art um, ink. And I'm literally just going to stamp these onto here. And I've used a few different ones on there, but I will just keep them all quite simple here to speed things up a bit for you. You don't want to be sitting here all day just watching the same thing over and over again. So that's it. But it does look quite nice when you kind of mix and match it a little bit. Um, then what I've done with the little circles there, I've literally just, and I think I've got some glitter on there, but I've just got some ink and painted in. there and actually we'll just put some on the back of here and 
I'll give it a little mist. It's a little bit deeper than what I did. There we go. That might be a bit easier. And just fill in like that. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I did originally anyway. So that's another way to use your inks. It keeps it all consistent then. Same colour tonings. Just changes the shading of it a little bit. You could put ribbons on this. You could put sentiments on it. Just up to your imagination. There we go. I've used green on this one, but you could do them if you use just a plain cardstock at the back. You could do pinks and lilacs and teals and blues and silvers, any colour you want. And that's literally, that's all there is to that. Just leave it off to dry. Clean my mess up as I go along. There we go. So that's the first one. Pop that to one side. And then I'll show you this one. So this is one of the larger ones. And this is the bubble bauble and ribbon. This one here. Um, so I've cut out a six by six card a five and three quarter by five and three quarter card mat five and a half by five and a half white card stock and then i've just gold embossed um the bauble so we'll just go ahead and stick those down It's never too early to get your Christmas cards done. In fact, the earlier the better. As time gets away with us and then you run out of time and causes all sorts of stress. It's quite therapeutic doing it this time of year, I think, too. All right, and just stick that down on there like that. Nice and smooth. Now what I've done here, I've used a tri-blend spectrum marker and I'm just going to fill in all the little tiny circles because the die doesn't punch the circles that small. So we need to fill in all of those. And I'm not going to do them all because otherwise you'll just get bored watching me. And that's not what it's about. So we'll do a few on that side there just to give you the idea. And then I've also gone along and filled in the ribbon to, I've just left this plain on my sample card, but you could put some glitter on the top of it um, you could put some glossy accents on the top of it. It just depends how blingy you want it. And there we go. So we'll do a little bit more. And you could also shade this as well. Anybody that's got Copic markers and things like that. Not my best thing to do, so I won't even try at this stage. <laughs> and we'll do one more bit. The 
Woodware stamps, they really do stamp so nicely and they're just such a brilliant price. I've been stocking them for quite a while now and I don't normally buy a lot of Christmas stock, um, but this year I just thought these were fantastic. There we go. So we'll leave that one at that. You can get the idea of it. Um, then I've used the bubble craft die and these are literally just scraps out of my Christmas um, papers that I had lying around. Um, so I've just cut, I don't know, about three lots of these ones. Um, and then on this one, I actually used some mirror card in red too, just to give it a, a little bit of difference. So this is the little circles here and there's three different sizes that cut out and go onto here. So you just literally just get a little ball tool and just put them in a circular motion like that. And don't worry about what side you do them on your paper, just mix it up. Have a nice surprise when it comes out. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm just going to put some... No, I'm not. Um, I forgot to do my stamping. I better do that first because otherwise I won't be able to get it in between the baubles. So um, I'll use the same stamp again, but this time I've used the VersaFine Claire in the tulip red colour. Just to match in with what I'm going. And I've just randomly done this probably on a few of the bigger ones because this size stamp just seems to fit really nicely on the big. Um, let's do one five. I like to work in odd numbers. There we go. And you can mix and match that again. Use some different ones. I've just used this one to show you quickly. Right, now we can get back to these. So I just put some glue and I just like to spread it out to the outside of the circle, not quite all the way to the edge, but pretty close because it will push out a bit when you put your little circles on. And do a few at a time. This way the glue starts to just go off a little bit and it's not quite as runny so you can control it a bit gets a little bit more tacky I think that's what I'm trying to say so don't be frightened to put a load of if you're using this glue it depends what glue you're using but if you're using the cosmic shimmer glue you can put a bit on first and let them kind of semi dry got a little air bubble there And then we literally just pick up our circles and just place them on. And it really is as easy as that. But you see by using a patterned paper how it changes it a little bit. If you had to use all plain cardstock, it would be nice. But this just gives it a little bit more detail. And some little ones going. Really is quite cute. This one's a little bit more vintage. I'll show you some ones that I did a while ago that are a little bit um, brighter, but I quite like this one. Um, there we go. And see, it fills in really quite quickly. It doesn't take too long at all. I just didn't do any of the dark red ones. Um, there's a couple of others I did earlier. These are just some pixie sparkles on white cardstock. We might do a couple of those and see what they look like. 
The good thing about using your scrapbook paper for your scraps is it's a little bit thinner than cardstock and it does shape quite nicely. Um, the thicker your cardstock and your foil cardstock, glitter cardstock, things like that, um, it just takes a bit more working to get that rounded shape. But it does look nice, so don't give up on it. I missed that one there. <clears throat> and also the glitter comes off onto your shaping mat. Well, these are also for sale. I think they're about $9, so not too bad either. Or you could just use a sponge or um, some more glue. Just going to fill in a bit with these. Put some bigger ones in. There you go, so you can see it builds up and different thicknesses of cardstock and paper as well will give you different levels of your baubles, so it's all a bit, bit interesting. And then what I've done here, I've just put one of these little sticky sequins on, which again, I had in my stash, I think I've had them for, I don't know, a long time. Just put that onto there and then I've used some of the Cosmic Twinkles, Gold Twinkles, um, just to do the bauble top. Just go use a few different things. Just gives it a bit more interest. Different products, different textures. And I've literally just kind of drawn with that. There we go. And that's that one. I'll show you another one I did um, quite a while ago, which some of you might have already seen, but it really, I think, is my favourite. And that was this one here. So I've left the ribbon white. And this is all glitter cardstock just cut in the different circles. And then again, I've used the glitter glue for the little tiny circles for something different. So I haven't done any stamping on that. And then this was just a frame that I had lying around and it just happened to work really well with this card. So I just popped that on with some foam tape and that was that one. Um, this one here was on some watercolour cardstock and I had used um, some watercolour inks on this. I've stamped underneath here and then I've put some glossy accents on the top and then some just some gold mirror card for the dots there. Um, so that's another version of this one here. But I really quite like the way this one's come out. And then the other one that I will show you is... Uh, that's the... Bubble Bauble and Pine Branch. Um, so I've made a card base again um, and I've used two mats this time. I did the white embossing powder on black cardstock, but when I put it onto the purple, I, it just didn't do it. I thought it needs to be having on white behind it and then I put the purple on. Um, so I'll show you how I put that one together. And that one's then just got some silver foil dots. So we'll just glue the card mat down. And it's a good way to use up just odd bits that you've got lying around. We've all got plenty of those, I'm sure. I've just done it all either oblong or square cards, but 
you can do different shapes. They're nice in little easel cards too. And I'm going to glue this one down before I put the glitter on as well. This one is really blingy. And quite purple for all of those that like purple and silver. I think it goes really nice. But you could use, do it in navy blue. You could make it quite masculine too, but you wouldn't put the glitter on. But just in the black and white. There we go, so we'll move that out of the way. Um, I've got some silver ones I did earlier. Now what I've done here, um, these the little silver ones. Now this is the mirror card that I've used for the silver. And we'll just use our ball tool again, just to do some circles. And we'll do a little one. See how it's just a little bit more firm. So it takes a little bit more working on it. But worth it when you see the end result. Okay, and we'll start with our glue. And you do have to be a bit more careful with the mirror card because it slips and slides around a bit more. That's okay. Use the pickup tool for it. That helps stick it down. Whoops, it's even slipping off that today. <laughs> Just turn it a little bit, that's better. There we go. And just rest it on top, don't push it down because otherwise your glue will squish out. Do another little one because I've already got the glue on there. Okay, now to put the glitter on, I've literally just put some blobs of glitter filled in everywhere with glitter, with glue rather. And because it's embossed, you kind of get to keep your, your lines and your shape of the stamp. And then I have just got one bit and just ran a line all the way along there. Like that. And we'll put a bit more in here. And again, I've just used some glitter that has been lying here for a long time that I've never used, but it happened to work in quite well. Pop that into there. And, and I'd fill in all of the little bits in there too, and I've just sprinkled this on. And you can see how old this glue is. It's really got quite moist, so, but it worked quite well on this one so it's gone damp for some reason and then just pat it off like that and that actually <laughs> believe it or not dries this color um, so that's another way to use that and then I'll quickly show you another one so the bubble dye actually 
fits on this beautiful little Christmas tree gnome as well. Um, that one was done on watercolour cardstock and I've used the watercolour inks by Cosmic Shimmer. Now she also has done um, some flowers, so some non-Christmas ones. So Bubble Bloom is called Carol and Hello Sunshine, Goodbye Rain, Happy Days are here again. So there's some nice little words on them too. So very appreciated. Um, friends always, thanks so much. Um, that one's Melanie. And for $13, you really can't go wrong. And this one has got happy birthday and you've got all your, your bubble dyes that you can put on there too. So they really are. She's bringing out some amazing things. Um, but yeah, that's your bubble dye again. And that just goes with everything. And also in your stamps too, like you do get a word. So there's Noel, Winter Blessings. Um, the little mini one's got Hope Your Christmas Sparkles, Christmas Wishes to You. And this one's got a bow that you can actually stamp on top of your baubles as well. Season's Greetings. And then, yeah, you've obviously got this one with your little berries. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. And please give it a try. It is well worth it. Um, lots of fun to do. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.